I suppose the bigger issue is you're going, I presume you're going to mention it to your family, maybe? Some of your family? It's the ones I can trust anyway. So your sister. She isn't my sister, she is That's... my cousin. Oh. You still look so like. Well. And you have like hair. Yes, it's and, like, moon. the dragon blood. But yes, and you all see why this is very important at the very least. Mm -hmm. Um, I will let you know if um if I do propose to her properly. Um thank you for telling me about the ring shoe. I will definitely be looking into that. And <gasps> Ooh, there was a lot of shiny crystalline mithril below our house. That might be a bit much. Hey, I mean, it's just sitting there. And we'd only need to grab a little bit of it to make a very nice ring. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yes, but with what Shiva said, it sounds like they would, they should match. And mithril being. A type of silver That's, will not uh, do well as a ring for me. Uh, and you could get on a chain. For fair, silver is probably a good thing to avoid. Gold then? I would think gold. Either that or platinum. Gold looks better, honestly. It would stand out more. I, I like this one. Uh, copper? Copper shiny. Copper, Copper does look nice, but it's... Definitely a cheaper. Very common. Common doesn't mean not important. I suppose. No. There are many perceptions, preconceptions put behind copper, and I feel like it's not the sort of thing you want to offer someone who's very well aware of what is technically yeah. the cheapest metal within our currency system. Yeah, that's the big thing, is that copper doesn't seem to have much value to most people. It shouldn't matter what most people think. If you and it Kirina want it a, uh, and are happy with a, a copper ring, go for a copper ring. If you go for a cheaper metal as well, then you can then get it more elaborate, decorative. Instead of just a plain band, you can have it engraved or woven or something like that. But that's the thing. Marriage isn't a practical thing, Elris. And so you don't apply practical things sorry, sorry, to it. Which part of what I just said was practical? I mean, using a cheap metal. Yeah. If that's you the metal still get you it want. Great... Yeah, uh, okay, if it's the metal you want, yes. It's true, you can... Telling all of you this has proved a lot more amusing than I thought it would. I'm glad you but... think so. But I still I think it should be a, very valu a fairly valuable metal. But I want a copper ring. You you can have that for your own wedding, Capney. Presumably, if you ever have one. Well, you are kind of apparently married to the world, so you're gonna need a very big ring. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think, the world, I think the world might already uh, have a copper ring out there. And also, hmm. I th not everybody is getting a ring. No, no, just those two. Traditionally, oh. the rings are just between those getting married. Yep, it's a sign of the bond. Ah, uh, okay. Karis does bring up a good point. You could propose with a plain band and then say, what, how would you like our marriage to be represented? And then yep. choose the ring between the both of you. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Perhaps I should just ask the question with a plain gold ring then? She does yeah. have anxieties of not feeling equal, doesn't she? This is a good way to show that you're both on the same foot. Oh yeah, that's yeah. actually a really good point. You can uh, always use a simpler ring I and would, talk I would, to her about something. I would or... not say she has anxieties about that. She has she has met my family and challenged them when they challenged her right to be there. She is made of some very stern stuff. Then it, then it might still be a good idea to, to sort of show her that you feel the same way about her. I like that idea. Because I, I know... I've known people that would do that specifically because they're anxious about about it. <laughs> I heard that, Amon, though you're not wrong. Also, it might be a good idea to get like a band that you wear adventuring instead of that one if it's going to be potentially broken. I suppose we'll have to figure that part out later. Oh, yeah. true. 
Well, maybe you could partner it up. So there's a dull gray metal, I think it is, like a adamantium, I think you call it. And then there's mithril. Red. Like she could get mithril, and then you could get adamantium because you get busted up a lot, and I don't want your ring to get hurt when you fall off a cliff. Or you could plate it, get a, it a solid before. ring, and then plate it in gold or something, so it was yeah. had a strong core. Mm -hmm. Also oh, possible. A very there's, good option, actually. There's a decent number of options like that. They have a strong core, like you love for each other. Oh, uh, now that's just corny. Well, yeah. yeah. But corny. still nice. Not like that, <laughs> Dad, me. It's okay, she like, likes corn. I, I knew she was It's like romance novels. Oh, yeah, I still like those too. Yeah, that, that sort of thing. Which, not super realistic, but it's nice having it be real sometimes. What, these aren't real stories? Eh, some of them. Probably. Yeah, some of them are, are real, some of them are based off real things, and some of them are made up because people would like it to be real. Which ones did you get me, Calrus? Ah, uh, now that would be telling. Oh. <laughs> there, there's at least some real ones in there. Okay. Realistically, mm. Calrus has no idea if any of them are real or not, but she wants to, to, to not smash all of Cadme's hopes and dreams. Cadme's gonna be so disappointed when she reads your mind. <laughs> Cadme. Hey, hey, you promised to not do that without permission. Right, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> it won't happen a third time. <laughs> There's now just a sign permanently posted in Kelvis's mind just saying, Cadme, you promised. <laughs> Uh, but thank you all for your input. I'm sure I'm going to have to talk to some of you more as time goes on. Yes, you will. Yep. yep. Oh, you could also make a ring out of moonlight. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. That sounds incredibly dangerous to be anywhere near me. Is it? Solidified moonlight? You know what Moonlight does to people like me, right? Academy, you know that Amaya becomes slightly murderous when the moon influences her, right? It's not really her fault. They said she was always murderous. No, but like, she wants oh. to eat humans kind of murderous. Oh. Yeah, well. normally it's just when I annoy her. That's fair. So Amaya kind of directs that attention to people that you make a are more of deserving of it. You all make a lot of assumptions about me. Hey, I don't... I'm not thinking that. Like I said, you directed towards people that I are... I have no desire to murder people. Yeah, exactly. Just well, generally hurt and maim. When they deserve it. Well, I'm a more of your kindness, so you in particular. Like the... Um, werebear we dealt with prior. Uh, yes. I know that you're not quite to that extent, partially because you're not a true lycanthrope. Um, yeah. it would be more accurate to say not a full lycanthrope. My heritage is true, it has just been split many, many times. What was his name again? What's we'll he, David? Ah, uh, close. Yeah, will we see him when we go to your home, or is he somewhere else? Um, yes, he... As you recall, we did send him back with Luna and Benjamin. I know. It's just I don't know if you have like, some kind of secret, like, where people enclave. Where he'd go instead. Um, not that I could tell Calorus. <sighs> Ooh, that means there is one. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I'm there might not be, though. Him. She might just be saying that to rile Calorus up. She does that sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I, I just take everything she says with a large pinch of salt these days. Smart idea. Yeah, so that there's totally a secret enclave of oh, where people... Trimmy. I mean, there prob probably is, like, out of character, there probably is, there's probably been rumours of it going around her mercenary friends for many years, and it's probably a huge frustration that they've never found it. The problem is they're actually looking too hard. Yeah. Of Elgin's where boot camp. Speaking of, when's this boat? 
Boat? You mean the boat we're on now? <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? Blinking changes. It seems I got tired of teleported us mid conversation. Oh. I did have. Uh... I did want to just kind of ask Lucas at some point um, how he was doing. Because I know he's out of. Like, not asking him this, but um, out of character. I know he's been spending a lot of time around, like, tigers and such, and I just kind of want to know if he's felt unusual lately, or if anything strange has happened. The sky exploding? That was strange. Okay, yes, that was very strange. But if he's feeling anything strange in the sense that you're thinking, he's not said anything. Even when asked about it? Even when asked. Okay. That said, though, he does have a rather strong fight with the tiger on, can you please get onto the boat? I don't want to get onto the boat. Taking the boat. tiger? He wants to take the tiger with him. Why wouldn't you please take the tiger? Do not take the, please do not take the tiger with us. It's his yeah, tiger. I mean, it's not. It's friend tiger. Exactly, and friends want to be together. Yes, but the, it will require a lot of me to keep going, and where we're going is going to be a very bad place for something like it to live. I mean, for however it, long we must stay there. If it gets to the point where it's really bad, I can turn it into a statue. Yes. Yeah. Which is not, of which is not a concerning people. statement. I guess I could also try and turn it into a dog. That, I don't think that I would give up with its attitude. Pretty sure it'd be highly offended at that. Hey, you yeah. said it was bad for a tiger to live in. Not if I'd be bad for a dog. Also, it's probably not best to take it from the island. Just take it from its island. Yeah. If it doesn't say no. Yeah, I, I guess. Believe it, I believe it is saying no. It, so. I think that is the problem Lucas is having. Yeah, remember, don't don't just take things away from where they live without them wanting to go. Okay? We took you because you wanted to leave. Does the tiger want to leave and just did not like the boat? Yeah, that's... Yeah, Lucas, why is it not wanting to leave? Again, is it because it doesn't like the boat, or is it because it doesn't want to leave? It doesn't trust the boat. Ah, okay, so... But it doesn't mind leaving, then? Okay. Then maybe as he can make it a statue. Look, I taught it a trick. As he may, as he suddenly suddenly the entire tiger rolls over. Oh. Remember, I die tiger. So it basically crushes a couple of barrels doing so. Oh. Careful, you know what cats are like with belly rubs. And this is a very big cat. Yeah, if you want, I can turn him into a statue. You can break him up to play with it once. If he hates it, I turn him back into a statue. Astuta, could you please stone the tiger? Sure. Um. Stones the tiger. Here, eat this. What's the drug for use? Valium? No. Mm, I know the word, but it's not coming to mind. Anesthesia? No. There's a specific that, one that's worse tranquilizer. Is this part of the spell? I look forward to Joe Max's next character being a veterinarian. <laughs> oh, it's gone long until I remember. Just look it up. I'm, try I'm going for a chat log because I know I talked to a friend about it. However, we also talk about a little guff. By the way, uh, Broken approves of the tiger. He approves the tiger demanding belly rubs. The tiger and a bear could roughhouse, because Aspen is now strongest there is. Are you wanting to wreck everything? Yes. Doesn't he roughhouse always? in the... Probably yeah, wouldn't survive this roughhousing. Don't roughhouse in the fort. Roughhouse in the woods outside the fort. Okay, I mean... That is horse tranquilizer, yes. Go there eventually. So, we're on a boat. We're on a boat. She makes a on, on a motherfucking boat. boat. It's not a particularly large boat, but it's a small merchant vessel that's going to be making its way, um, well, making its way northbound to the icy, icy cities of Eisenfell and High Rock. It will take some time, but. Well, that's fine. It's not like anyone here has trouble with boats. Except Reese. Where there is, yeah. 
You know what, Tiger? Thing. Water sucks, but I'll get over it. He's all sad this boat, st- this boat doesn't talk to her. This boat does not talk to her, no. <laughs> Stupid stuck up boat not talking. The last boat talked to her. What makes you so yeah. good? Yeah, the last boat was awesome. It's several days into sailing. Um, Adeline and Stufa have been um, at one side of the ship currently trying to catch a shark. Stufa's just like tying meat to like vend over rope and throwing it in. It's, like, this While Amaya it. is there watching the meat with a harpoon. Do you have to catch it alive? How do you catch it dead, Adeline? Is it... Do you kill it and pull it up onto the boat? But, that is I mean, what the harpoon is for. You have to like get up above the water. I can't just like the water is like thick. Vision bad. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. You need to fix your eyes. No. Okay, it's not that. <laughs> Look, fishermen don't just somehow magically kill fish underneath the water, then pull them up. They use a net, or they use a line, or they use I don't know, it's probably something else. A spear and shallow I know. water. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Karen. I know. So yes, it does need to come up alive. That's why I have you two, so you can shoot it. Kalos is probably just sat up on the bar somewhere, shouting down little comments. Are you Most even of strong them enough to actually pull it up? That's and why I have yeah. this here. Yes, Adeline, I believe I am strong enough to. No, pull I was, up I'm a talking shark. about Essie. Is she strong enough to, you know, pull it up enough for you to spear it? Got that, that magic hair, Adeline. All right. Yeah. Hey, Hestia, could you go hunt the shark? I mean... Sh- she could. Come on, you big fucking flesiosaur. Be the apex predator you are! I would I would like to uh, ask Hestia I if I can ride her into glorious shark combat. <laughs> well, glorious shark heart. combat is going on beneath the waves. Hestia dominating herself as the apex predator. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You suddenly get this kind of sense in the back of your head, as if someone's trying to contact you. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Oh, god damn it. Did, did we all get that sense? Nope. Oh, okay. Me? Uh, you get sense as if someone just tried to contact you. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Answer a phone. If I can. Or is accept? Hello? Accept. Am I on? As you'll end up hearing a uh, whispering wind uh, kind of wrapping around you, and you can hear a voice from it. It's a familiar voice. It's Kaif's. Hello, Kaif, and pick up a shark. Hold on. Did you try a shark? I want one. Okay. So, we've been busy. Yeah, huh? Lots of and lots of contracts. We've got paid. Also, we have something rather important to discuss with all of you. Uh huh. Would you be able to do come pick us up at some point? How many of there's fun? Six of you? Uh, seven. Oh, okay. New person, then. Long story. Mm. Okay, then. Give me a second to work out logistics. But uh, it might take a day or two. I might be ready to wait until we're in port. We've got a few injuries to patch up as well. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is that the kids? Did anyone die? So technically, I can teleport people into a boat. I just have to be really quick about it. <laughs> I guess that's or, true, or, yeah. You wait until the boat is, um, or you wait until the boat is calming down from, say, crew changes. That's also it, true. Though. It's more fun to do the other way. Or you you're really up. good at maths. You just show up, say brace, and then teleport it back immediately, and they're just like, what? <laughs> I sent her a message saying, okay, everyone, go in a circle, group up hands, I need to scry on you first, and then go grab you. I mean, I definitely like the idea that it's two of us doing calculations, like, okay, the boat is travelling at this mu- at this speed, and this fo- at this vector, so I need okay. to match it. If I teleport us 100 feet above where we're here, it will land on it. It'll be good. Wait, wait, above or in front? I need to be ready front? to catch you all with... To throw the winds at you all. Yes. Oh god, okay, fine. Let's see why. It's got a look. Cool, Adeline. We're teleporting onto a boat, you don't just do that for a boring way. As soon as we got thing. you a shark, you wanted it alive, right? Uh, I mean, technically it has to be dead eventually. But don't we all? 
Well, that makes this Here. easier. Shake. No? No, not really. Oh, even though you've shanked it, something keeps keeps flailing. Shank, shank. That's not the where you do that. Try not to like put too many holes in it. I need its skin. Dang it, Amaya. I got to butcher it. Right. Ah! <laughs> Aspen, no. <laughs> As this is the backdrop to everything happening right now. <laughs> okay, you lot deal with that. I need to go pick up our kids. Okay, go. I'm, I'm ready to catch them. One, one scrying, two teleportation circles later. Yep. Eventually, though, Team B will join your group. And they have indeed been paid. And they also look like shit. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wow, you look rich and like shit. Wow, Thank you. you you really haven't got the hang of get the whole getting out of the way thing yet, have you, Leo? Pop a coin past you. Okay, hey, leave my apprentice alone. He's, he's mine as well. I, I taught him everything he knows. Yeah, he's... I'm just outsourcing his teaching to you. That still yeah. makes him mine. Do you think it's too you see Team B there, who have all been quite well paid. They all seem to have quite a lot of different of new knickknacks and just large piles of gold hanging at their sides. There's also someone you don't recognise there. Who's your friend? That's Kate over at her. Looks over and then looks to all of you. This, to all of you, I would like to introduce as Blaze. We just, as of a day ago, um, just uh, rescued him for the second time. So you rescued him, then lost him, then rescued him again. It was, it was a very dramatic story. Is this related to why he smells like a lizard? I, I guess you have to give, give them points for, you know, doing Dark. your job twice. I highly yeah. doubt it, but can Shiva tell anything about him? Uh, well, both in the back of Shiva's head and Hestia's head, your eyes are both drawn instinctually to him for some reason. Hester, you have sense motive. I'll use you to learn literally anything. Good luck. Nope. Too too dumbfounded. Understandable. Yeah. Well, neither of you are sure why, but there is something definitely draconic there. You can just feel it. Okay. Does does my incredibly diluted draconic blood react at all? Not particularly. Didn't think so. It's incredibly diluted. Yours is like one part in a million. Maybe not a million, but yeah, definitely not very strong. I got the eyes, not nothing else. But, um, so it's a bit of a long story, so let me, um, as Kay creates her magical PowerPoint next to her. Oh god, she brought slides. Perhaps now we will do a out-of-character info dump. Um, One wow, slide. That, that sounded like shit. It's not a fun time. No fun time. Uh, depends depends on definition of fun, but yeah, that didn't sound too fun. That was interesting. Bits of it sounded fun. Yeah, I'm sure you could have done things a bit better, but well, pretty good. All, all things I considered. Hope you... I hope you have all learned some valuable lessons. The yeah. two brothers immediately look at each other and, and call the other one a diff call the other one a different name. Cadmi's gonna look at Shiva. Is there any mention of when he had golden dragon claws or anything like that? Yes. And probably also mention the um the rogue um dragon caretaker who was very interested in him for some reason. She was not also very interested in him. You can hide that. Hmm. Like, what does she even look? Is there, a, is there a visual reaction to Shiva hearing all this? She just starts drooling. No. I forgot. You are the most dangerous person at our, at our poker table recently. <laughs> Alongside putting the actual rogues to shame. Ah. Oh. But yeah, it's certainly mentioned that when he was stressed out, suddenly he grew dragon claws. Cool. And that the dragon priest was hunting him. So. And he doesn't remember why. Or anything, actually. 
She not. That's a thing. Well, he was going to learn about him at some point. Doesn't want to immediately assault this person going, who are you? Within two seconds of them being here, but... It's added to Shiva's uh, to-do list, perhaps. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised Cadme hasn't dived into his memories yet. I, I think she a bit to do that. Shiva would probably stab Cadme, Cadme right now. Wow. Wow, that's rude. She's, pro she's protective. Oh, while you're all here, you are going to have to hide, because technically this boat doesn't have space for another seven people. Yeah, you don't... Yeah, kind of... Yeah. It's okay, we've got barrels for all of you. And so begins the uncomfortable remainder of the trip. Mission team PC, you will, you will pay a stippet from Team B's adventures, as is your agreement. Everyone on Team PC can net themselves an extra 1,000 gold. Woo -woo. Hot damn. They made a lot more money than I thought they did. They, they have been on many side quests. Eh, okay, that's fair. Right, they just run a while from side quest after side quest after side quest. So. He's for my screen there. They managed to get themselves all up to level 5. Nice. And now they have experience towards level 6. We're becoming big people. Some of them might actually get multiple attacks soon. Brain, why do you have like 5 concussions? Jesus. Oh, new concussions. Oh, wait. There isn't any Jesus here. Jesus. But yes, the trip lasts several more days. But, given some time, and one very dead shark, the group can eventually see out ahead the, fr the frigid coasts of Elsgard. The tall, the tall mountainous peaks, the rolling grassy tundra, which at this time of year and this far to the south is not completely frozen over, but you, you know. The climate is still obvious, and you can still feel the chill in the air. This is certainly a place where you'd want to wrap up warm, even if it's not, you know, Arctic territory at the moment. Everybody bought their warm clothes and slash oranger elements? Oh yeah, no, I did. Not. Well, you're arriving in port to buy them now. I know I forgot something. They keep up at all times. And that much of um, Team B who are currently wearing um, clothes more appropriate for um, a holiday in the desert, or a nice beach, may all need to get May all need to buy themselves a new outfit. God damn it. That's my hard earned gold. Cadney yeah. ruffles uh Cadney just ruffles her wings and then suddenly like doubles in poof as she casts winter feathers on herself. Can I like wear Cadme on my shoulders as a cold weather outfit? <laughs> I'll let you use Cadme as furs for plus two. There you go. Cadme is my cold weather outfit. Perfect. I'm cold weather outfit five, so it's not as good. No, but she's like a knockoff version. Knockoff cat me. Which is. Yeah, she's got to catch on lower half, so. <laughs> I suppose I'll actually be cold weather as well, but cat me. Yeah, do. No, I, I will, because I think Kelis used to have one, and then at some point we like lost the cart, and she lost her cold weather as part of that. Um, and yeah, cat me won't be on her shoulders all the time. The group has docked on the outskirts of the city of Eisenfell. It's been a long time since any of you visited here. Oh. To be precise, it's been about 15 months. Apparently I wow. do have a cold weather outfit, and apparently she's wearing it. So, hey, she's gone on holiday wearing her cold weather. There you go. A very <laughs> melty cat. <laughs> Arriving at this rather prominent port town, the bars are overflowing. There are people all around. The large market all of you came to when you first, uh, when all of you first departed, full of all kinds of knickknacks and gadgetry. Though, most, though no more notably, weapons, armor, and booze. The true trades of the north. Oh, plus that of the car, the car from the giant. Animal. <laughs> Look, it's pretty common here. You are all greeted, however, when you arrive. And there is some as it turns out there is someone waiting for the group on the landing. Oh, who is it? Walking down the gangplank is a rather large man. Oh no. Tall and muscular, easily over six feet, with long white hair and a massive 
massive weapon at his back. This weapon probably weighs more than Cadme, and probably her kids. Amaya is going to march right up to him and attempt to punch him. Considering what how Amaya's spoken of her family and stuff, would we be able to recognize this as one in particular? There is, there is very close resemblance. Yeah, but I mean, out, out of character, we know who this is, but in character, would we be able to make the connection? Have you talked about it enough? Yes. <laughs> I I think, honestly, just him with long, flowing white hair is... Yeah, I mean... It's a pretty good giveaway. I mean, that's kind of a family trait. His mountain of a build, though. Yeah. That is that's... your dead giveaway. Right. Yeah. Either way, I'm Joris not, is sort punch. of scowling a little bit. Move. But you feel like you've just punched concrete. Uh, he technically takes two non-lethal damage. And I'll apply DR to that. <laughs> yeah, I could have uh, probably would have punched him lethally, knowing he wouldn't have taken damage anyway. Remember your strength modifier. Oh yeah, that's right. Five. I mean, I mean, you not gave him some. Matters. I mean, gave him a little bit of damage, but not as much as you thought. <laughs> just kind of punch his abs. I heard one of us was coming back. You came all this way to greet us, Lord Uncle. Well, I, c I couldn't let you. Uh, I couldn't get you. Let you get lost in the woods again. You will never let me live that down, will you? Not a chance, and you know it. So who's all this? I suppose I should introduce you. As Amaya is going to one by one go through everyone's introductions. When when you, she gets the camera, she sort of looks at the guys like, "Is punching you with a standard introduction?" But she's cracking her knuckles. Pretty much. I, I'm, just, for our I'm I'm sorely tempted. I'm very sorely tempted. I would not recommend it, Calaris. Family can get away with it, but. You would be challenging him if you tried. That's why I do I not recommend if, that's it. That's why I asked if it's standard. You see him. You see him eyeing the icy water next to the dock. Hmm. There's a definite look of Kerwis that she really, really, really wants to punch him, but she's holding back. Do you introduce who this is to everyone? Um. Who? Do you, give, do you give your family member an introduction officially to everyone? And everyone, this is my lord uncle Valthus Ralliot, the head of my family, the howling blizzard of wrath. <laughs> oh, the, the one you always say is more meat than brain. Yes, actually. He kind of, pull, he kind of pulls you in and kind of just rubs his fist gently against the side of your face. Well, I think gently. His strength level gently. <laughs> My lord uncle is not known for his memory, nor his um, book smarts, as you um, put it. <laughs> She's just kind of looking up at him with a smug smile. And who needs book smarts when you can toss a, when you can toss a mammoth? I found a brief. Aspen says, hanging off his arm, biting. <laughs> he hasn't even noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, tries biting his teeth in, but he don't even sink like, don't even sink in properly. Yep. Aspen's like, what is this made of? This is not made of people. <laughs> I also just thought, while Kelis was, like, staring at him, cracking knuckles, shit like that, he's probably got, like, two foot on her. Easy. <laughs> And, and she's just staring up at him. Uh. <laughs> we're, talk, we're talking this incarnation of Alpha is a good, maybe six five. So mm -hmm. yeah, al almost two clear foot on Kerwis. She's four eight. Now that said, just gonna kind of just pause her. Uh, as he just kind of pulls Amaya with him as he kind of turns around. We're here to get a drink. Or oh, you must be tired. Hi, and. Most of these people don't know the taste of real drink. We'll fix that. Any of them lightweights? Um, well, I mean, I only weigh like 74 pounds. The children. 
looks confused over all the voices. <laughs> hey, Dark, did we just kind of take our companion with us going, yeah, more vacation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She would just apologize to Kyle in advance. You know what you need to do, Kyle, though? You have to beat him for Shiva's honor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 say, I've got both, I have both character sheets on one of my screens. It would not end well for one of them. <laughs> he would be thrown clear across to the next iceberg. That's how they can fly. Please do not kill Kalatel. I'm, I'm just saying, I can't count the CR difference in one hand between the two of them. It would not look good. I mean, Velvet is incredibly strong, and that's clear to all of you to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why do you think Kelvis wants... Well, there's several reasons why she wants to punch him, but that's one of the reasons. Aspen felt challenged. You so, so does Kelvis. <laughs> Anything you'd actually notice, by the way, uh, Tinder, mm -hmm. is a sidearm on him. Okay. Which, the sidearm is still quite big. It's not <laughs> as enormous as his main weapon. Hey, you know, you know how big a falchion is? Probably about that big. <laughs> Hmm. Interestingly. I mean, it's not entirely unexpected based on what Amaya's told us, but it's still... Huh. Yeah, with that, though, Amaya is forcefully dragged to the local bar, and all of you are free to follow if you want. Yep. Hooray! Bar's time. Well, Valfus walks in, just looks to the bartender, <laughs> who just nods, as he just goes and just claims the entire back corner. As you see the bartender just slowly cordon off that area. Is there quarantine? What's regular RC? No, he's just a regular, it seems. My I mean, lord uncle has a reputation. Yeah, the kind of uh, clues there, the whole lord title. I imagine most, like, at least tavern keep, shop keeps, etc. may have, you know, heard of her family, if nothing else. Not actually a lord of this place, just... though. <laughs> no. Yeah, but... I was just thinking that she was saying that because she... that's Amaya. I oh, mean, no. Amaya doesn't call just everybody lord. I guess that's true. My uncle Valthus has killed a lot of things to earn that title. Oh, nice. And our land. So when do I get my lord title? We've killed a bunch. Have you rest, Have you rest your storm giant yet? Have you killed a kraken? Yes. How about a demon? Yes. Big old demon lord thing. And and oh. thus and thus starts the you know measuring contest. I've got a crossbow full of the full of the spirits of things. He'll happily talk about all the happily talk about all of um all of the adventures back and forth. Lean though it's one hundred percent join in. Though it's quite clear here that he's been on some rather absurd adventures. How many of them are true? You're not entirely well, sure. Well, he's... So you're you're thinking death. The majority of them are weirdly true, even if they are set loose and far-fetched. Well, he's um, like Amaya four will times claim, our age. Uh, Amaya will claim to 90% of them to have seen the trophy in his room. Yeah, well, like I say, he's like four times our age. By the time we get to his age, we'll have way more stories. I mean... I guess... That's well, a... Alternatively, version. we could lie. <laughs> you could lie. <laughs> the, the rest of us, not as much. It's like a barbarian. How many ranks and sense move can you have? You're not wrong, actually. <laughs> that that actually is a very good point. A trait that allows me to use my strict modifier for sense motive. That's <laughs> <laughs> interrogation. <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, he's he buy he buys everyone a, a solid round of drinks. If any if any of you have a constitution lower than twelve, you are drunk before the you are drunk before the first round finishes. Haha, I'm good. Good too. Do any of us have a con lower than twelve? Yes, do though. I have a con of fourteen. Okay. Really? You yeah, I'm a con a... witch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essie's a bit chunky. Okay. Not sure. Sure. Oh, okay. The NPCs may not be so fine. Okay, yeah. yeah. Kaladel's yeah. dying they're in the still corner. Kids. And Kaladel, yeah. Kaladel is certainly, certainly is in the lightweight category. I mean, he's <laughs> he's an elf. He gets a minus two to con. Or him. I mean, I get a minus two to con. 
the difference is that you're a holiday adventurer. Wait, no, I get a minus two to strength. Yeah, it's not con for souls. Right, yeah. That's changelings. Yeah. No, I do get a minus two to but Am I mixing those two up? I think you are. I think, yeah. no, you're... Uh, this does bring the question up, though, as all of you are kind of in a nice drinking uh, situation. What's the plan? I know you. I know you plan to go on towards Berylton. My plan's to match and drink for drink until I'm under the table. Oh boy! <laughs> I only have fourteen con, but so it's not going to be a you, long you fight. Do not meet, you do not meet the <laughs> no. minimum requirements to even pose a challenge. No, I'm no, I'm, I'm not expecting to. But that is something Kelis would do. In, in this situation, basically because she knows Amaya and this is part of Amaya's family, rather than going for, I'm going to be incredibly paranoid and try to kill this thing, she's more, let's see how I can compare to him. Chug, 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 chug. Well, oh, I have good news for you. You match each other's drinks, the last drink gets him tipsy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll still full join in. Maybe if a little bit more cheating involved, but still. It would actually last a little yeah, bit longer than Cora. Hestia's gonna do the same thing because she also has a lot of con. Yeah, but Hestia's cheating, she's half dragon. She's full dragon when she's just in, a, in an off body. <laughs> Hestia is a dragon. Balthus is half dragon. Well, to be fair, Hestia takes a minus two to con right now, so she look, only has 16 con. Look, 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 look. I'm very drunk right now. You don't look dragon, so you're not full dragon, okay? Let me push on Kelris. <laughs> this isn't. That's not. Listen, if you can't. You gotta go about it if you're gonna act drunk. Come on now. I I can't act drunk. Yeah, none of you can out drink Valvus, though some of you can definitely give a better shot. Hester does definitely does a good decent job. Estufa can cheat by just handing off her drunkenness to other people. Oh, she's definitely. She has no shame. If you did the she I don't please make her vomit all over. Some of she you will doesn't... just suddenly some of you will just go from being like, I'm fine, to suddenly I'm incredibly drunk. But don't don't do that to Shiva. She's she's taking her time. I'll do with you. I'll, I'll make you feel better after. It's fine. Come on, this is our reputation on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's probably how Kelis went, though. She's like, I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. The floor's very close. How much con does Essie have? Essie only has... Essie will have 16 con, actually. Because you've suddenly switched, switched to the youth for the first time in ages. Maybe. Just like when he isn't looking, as if I just kind of like turns, like fixes her hair and then turns back again. And suddenly she goes from being 80 to 16. <laughs> And how, and how much resistance do you have, if any, to poison? I actually don't have anything particularly against poison. You're almost just passing off other people. Very much. But well, Stiffa's also pretty much going to lie through her teeth about being drunk. Yeah. Like, I'm not drunk at all. You can make me a bluff check. Stiffa's going to activate the major hex she grabbed for the day, False Hospitality, granting her glibness. I activated that earlier. Oh boy, a 47. I'm pretty sure everyone in the group believes that Estufa is fine. She might be currently losing brain cells, however. After... Oh, no, definitely. She's dying inside. <laughs> Damn it. She's <laughs> managed to down at this point. She's not sure which drink she's on, but she doesn't have enough finger or to fingers and toes to count them all. I mean, she's like currently got the double fingers, finger. so... <laughs> Um, I mean, you actually managed to get Valfus drunk. That's the good news. Shall we, like, uh, play off no. of, oh, uh, we can't let this go too far. We still need to go, you know, places. Hey, Amaya. Huh? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, if you excuse me a second, as this stuff is going to probably go to a bathroom and throw up. <laughs>